Chinese State Councillor and Foreign Minister Wang Yi has met with Indian National Security Advisor Ajit Duval in Mumbai. The two exchanged views on bilateral relations as well as on regional and international issues. Wang Yi also co-chaired the first meeting of high-level talks on people-to-people -people exchanges with Indian External Affairs Minister Shushma Swaraj. For more on Wang Yi's visit to India and bilateral relations, I'm joined by senior journalist Seema Sirohi. She focuses on foreign policy in India for the Economic Times. Seema, thank you for joining us. I want to begin by asking you, we've seen China-India ties warming up this year. Um, what do you think is behind this change? I think there was a realization that after the standoff uh, at Doklam last year, that things had got a little bit out of hand. Both countries recognize that uh, they need to work out uh, a modus vivendi to uh, work with each other, their neighbors, and two large economies. Um, so basically, the idea was to tone down some of the rhetoric that uh, was coming out of Beijing. Do you think Beijing is going to seek more Indian goods as a uh as relief since China and the U.S. are in a sort of trade uh, standoff? That is the hope, uh, because India has a huge deficit with China, uh, just like the U.S. does. Our deficit is about $52 billion. Uh, and the total trade is about $84 billion. So um, India would like uh, China to open the IT sector and the pharmaceutical sector for so that more uh, Indian goods can can go to China. So there is hope. Uh, I think you, you primarily focus on U.S.-India relations. Um, how do you think this visit by Wang Yi to New Delhi is being viewed by Washington? Washington is watching uh, India sort of work its way around uh, the very tough neighborhood that it lives in. It has two rival countries on its borders, China and Pakistan, both of whom are uh, friends with each other. In fact, uh, they're iron friends. Uh, so uh, on the other hand, India and um, the United States have a strategic partnership. So Washington is watching. It is not unduly worried uh, or anything. It does want India and China to have a peaceful relationship. And the border standoff last year had caused some concern here. And you mentioned Pakistan. Um, it's always been sort of a third wheel in the U.S. India relationship, how does it feature or will it feature in a China-India relationship? Oh, it certainly will, uh, because China has been the, the major factor in Pakistan developing its nuclear program, its missile program. So uh, basically, China uses Pakistan to keep India tied down in South Asia um, and not allow India to become um, you know, a global leader or to spread its influence around. So uh, yes, Pakistan will always be a factor in this relationship. And beyond a point, I think uh, China and India cannot become very comfortable or very friendly because of the border dispute they have. Uh, and again, the Pakistan-China relationship comes into it because some of the Indian territory has been ceded to China by Pakistan. And I imagine, of course, Islamabad is closely watching these visits as well. Seema Sirohi, thank you so much for your insight.